morning and I am on my way to the hospital. Today we're at a different site, so I'm going to have to take a different route, which means I haven't missed the train. I'm not even trying to get on the overground. No, that's the lie. There might be an overground involved later, but at the moment I'm just on my way to a bus stop. This is going to be one of those one-off journeys. I've never actually been to this hospital before. I'm excited to see what it's like and hopefully there are things that I learn. I've got clinical skills, which means I will be doing some cannulas, taking bloods from those mannequins. Either way, because I want to be a professional doctor, I have cut my nails. I would show you these nails up close, however I haven't filed them down in order to make the edges nice and smooth. It's actually been a very long time since I've actually cut my nails this short. I have kept them around 1.4 millimeters or so since the beginning of quarantine. That's the situation at the moment. I'm just going to wait for my bus. Conveniently the bus is directly outside the station and they've got these wooden benches here which are just really comfortable to relax in this beautiful weather that it is for now. My bus should be here in exactly three minutes. Ah, good mood, I've got my tea, the sun is shining. I am also really early on my way to the hospital. Also, I just realized I've been to this area a few times before. Today should be good. It's also my brother's birthday. So make sure you guys stick around if you want to know what the cake looks like. Whenever I usually show people the cake that we get from the store that we usually get our cakes from, they love the way the cakes look. They love the way that they taste. It is all made with fresh cream. So just really quickly, this journey is going to be a lot longer than the other bus journey. So I've actually decided to take a seat. The bus is pretty empty and I'm not expecting there to be priority boarding anytime soon. Actually, no, thinking about it, uh, I should probably go upstairs and just free up the seat for anyone who needs it. Alright guys, I'm super early as we had predicted. This is a really nice hospital from the looks of it. Some greenery and you guys know how much I love greenery. As for what I did on this long bus journey, I edited a photo that I am going to post for you guys on my Instagram. If you guys haven't followed me on Instagram already, then go and make sure you do that. Now I'm going to insert something around here. And whilst you're doing that, you may as well subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. And also turn on the post notification bells because you guys don't want to miss anything that I post. What I'm going to do now is make my way inside. And because I'm really early and I still actually have tea left in here, surprisingly. I'm going to continue editing some photographs because you guys know that quite often on Instagram I don't just post solo photos I post batches of them and I want to make sure they are all good quality and high enough standard for you guys so let me go and make them look a little bit better so that you guys can enjoy them I'm actually struggling to find this main entrance I've been walking around for about 10 minutes I ran into one doctor and he said the training room that the junior doctors used to do the clinical skills training in has been all converted into a COVID only ward I guess I'm extra early so I can let the rest of the group know where to go if anything has been changed guys isn't this room just so cool look at these sofas and they have this sack here oh my gosh this is actually so comfortable right now i'm half an hour early i ran into one of the supervisors for this session and she told me to come and chill in this room and i asked her where registration is going to be when it's closer to 9 50 and she said that she's going to come and find me in this room i'm assuming that any other people who were early like i am she'll probably skid out of them into this room so it'll be like a little meet up point for all of us to just chill out, relax. There's also some refreshments in this room. That's what they told me. They said to help myself to any clean coffee if I wanted to do that. But I am caffeinated enough and I am kindly going to pass on this offer. All right, guys, you have been asking for a tutorial. So this is going to be the first one that I'm filming for you guys on site. So I'm currently at the education center and I've got permission in order to film for you a small tutorial about how to insert a nasogastric tube. So we've got this dummy here. Say hello. You want to measure from the tip of the nose to the base of the ear and then to the zippy sternum and then add five centimeters onto that. 
So for this patient, it's about 144. Now that we've measured the size of this, and we know roughly how much of this to advance and put into the patient's nostrils, and how far to go through, we're going to add some little bit of jelly to the tip of this. This is in order to make the experience a little bit more comfortable for the patient, which is exactly what we want to do. Initially, I was using my left hand in order to advance, even though it's my non-dominant hand. I was advised to instead use my dominant hand in order to advance it. This is so I could have more control. I just push it all the way down. And look out for that number that you measured at the beginning. You can see that number right there. It's okay if it's gone down a little bit too much because what would happen is in the stomach this wire, this tube would just loop itself. If you unscrew this part here, I'll start to pull this out a little bit, you can see there's a guide wire. The importance of this is once this patient has a chest x-ray in order to make sure that this tube is in the right place and it's in the stomach rather than in the airways then this guide wire would light up in the x-ray and you can see exactly where it is. We also get plasters of this shape that you can stick onto the patient's nose and then also wrap this around the actual tube. And this is in order to secure the tube because you don't want this to move too much. And also an alternative is you can actually tape this down to the side of the patient's face if you know you just want to get it out of the way because having this just kind of lurking in front of your face can be a bit irritating so just leave it at the side like that that's up to you and just kind of adapt to the patient's preferences as an f1 this is as much as we will do we've been advised that once we've put this tube in we will go to a more senior colleague specifically a registrar or more senior than that and they would request for the chest x-ray and they'll also look at the chest x-ray in order to make sure that the wire is in the right place after that it is safe to feed the patient using this nasogastric tube I hope this mini mini tutorial was of use to you. If you loved it then please leave a comment below so I can gauge if it was actually of use or what. And yeah, let's continue the rest of this gym. Hey guys, so we are done with the induction for today. And oh my god, it was actually really nice. We got the opportunity to sort of refresh ourselves with certain procedures, specifically nasogastric tube, as you guys will have seen, also catheterization and basic life support. These are skills that we'll be practicing perhaps on a regular basis, especially catheterization. Catheterization you can do for a number of reasons. Sometimes if the patient is in urinary retention, which is when you have your urine kind of in your bladder and it's having difficulty being drained naturally. So then you could put in a catheter in order to help drain that and that would alleviate any discomfort that the patient is having with the this backlog of urine. Another reason why some patients can get a catheter is if you want to monitor the actual urine output. So say if you were putting in a certain amount of fluid into their body through an IV cannula, you want to monitor how much water from the body is coming out and you do this by monitoring the urine output. Of what just happened. So it's helpful to recap on that. We also had this other experience which is pretty interesting. I personally enjoyed it. I'm talking about a red sofa chair with a camera. Then we're given 10 minutes in order to answer five questions. So it asked us about how the induction went, what things we think they can do in order to help address any of our concerns about starting as a new doctor. One thing I mentioned is allowing us as junior doctors to provide feedback as a cohort in a couple of weeks time essentially this experience of going into the world of work as newly qualified doctors in the midst of a pandemic it can present with new challenges that we haven't really addressed before because this time last year in the nhs there wasn't a pandemic when new doctors were starting so i thought it would be nice in order for us to just have the opportunity to ask for things basically and ask for help because that's really important you know we want to be the best that we can for our patients and put patient safety first and therefore it's important as a doctor is that where we are feeling that we need help with things then we should be able to ask for that and the tutors today they were really 
friendly and they were really keen in order to help us help them address our concerns. Before I turn on the vlog camera I was walking with some of the other junior doctors but I'm heading to a shopping center now and I'm not going to get the opportunity to really vlog for you guys and talk like this. So yeah, I separated for a few minutes but they're probably at the station now so I'm just gonna put the vlog camera away and then catch up with you guys in an hour or two. Just at Westfield right now and I've bought some foundation. It took quite a while I was at Bare Minerals. I'll show you guys the foundation when I get home. At the moment I'm just going to make my way down to the cake store in Hackney. I'm going to meet up with my mum and we're going to go and pick up the cake together and I'm looking forward to that. Oh my god, I think my brother is going to love it. Behind the government regulations, you must wear a face covering while travelling on TFL services. Please ensure your covering is on before you enter a station and please keep it on until your journey is completed. Thank you. I literally haven't had any water to drink since this morning, since I left my house. So guys, make sure you are staying hydrated. Actually, that's a lie. I had a cup of tea on my way to the hospital this morning. And does that count? Mm, tea kind of dehydrates you, so I don't think that counts as water debatable comment below but still the point i'm making is i am feeling dried out in this sun this is my third train today i've taken buses too i've been walking around a lot in the sun and i could really do with a cold glass of water right now so guys if you're watching this make sure you are staying hydrated stay safe changed into my mum's sundress, so I wanted to see her reaction. Do you like my clothes? Yes. <laughs> you look nice, baby. <laughs> this is the foundation that I bought. I'm not too sure if it's my colour, but we'll see. I haven't had anything to eat after breakfast this morning, so I'm just going to quickly have a little muffin. And hopefully that will cheer me up, because I haven't had anything to eat since. What time of the day? 7 a.m. Oh, this muffin is gonna feel so good. <laughs> my mum is deep thinking. We are writing up my brother's card. This is what it looks like. It's so beautiful. My mum's already written inside it. And I'm going to write something now before my dad writes into it. I've written a whole side. Got some dino stickers there. I love writing cards because it really gives me the opportunity to express to the person things that I would like to say to them that I don't know that I'm too shy to. So yeah, I appreciate this annual opportunity to write cards. My favorite part writing anyone's card is sealing it and I'll show you it in three two one This is the part of card writing that makes me pretty anxious when the process is happening but at the same time it's the most fun part for me and I absolutely love it. feeling very generous. <laughs> Do you want to learn? Yes, please. If you loved it, please give the video a big thumbs up, comment, share it with your friends. If you have any questions, and let us know. And yeah, you will see us in the next one. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. <laughs>